Hey, welcome back, beautiful collective. Thank you for joining me here, everyone. Let's get straight to your messages. Collective, please, and thank you. Collective energy. I hope you guys are all doing well. And I want to stop and I want to thank each and every one of you. I put a post on the community page of my channel, uh, Psalms 91. Guys, a lot of crap coming down. And, and you know, spiritual warfare, people being jealous, envious, stuff like that. Enough is enough. Now... Hang on, guys. I'm just listening to my guides. Don't mind me. Fifteen, I am wise. Your love for others is powerful. And you're able, <clears throat> pardon me, my throat wants to close, to spread your gift of support. Hang on. Guys, I got a cough here. Hang on. Sorry about that. Now I need a drink. Oh, sorry. Okay, it's saying you're able to spread your gift of support far and wide. You're a curious and social nature brings you into contact with a variety of people, all who would benefit from your warm, heartfelt words of wisdom. So a lot of you guys have a lot of heartfelt words of wisdom to offer and it's time you know we come together as a collective energy to support one another i mean there is no point of us coming together as a collective if we're not supporting one another um it is strength in numbers and there is power in prayer and so that's what I've been led to do is pray for everybody. But the important thing is when you join together, you're a force to be reckoned with. You are stable. Four, you bring stability and rationality to any situation. You are the rock of your hard work and the perseverance makes you a dependable friend, partner, and colleague, and someone does not want me saying this message, which is why I'm really struggling right now. I really am. <clears throat> You're a pioneer, 19. Independence and self-sufficient are necessities to you. You're extremely capable in life and in work, and you're not afraid to take big risks to achieve the life that you desire. 18. Kind-hearted. You're both an open-minded and open-hearted, and your ambition is to leave this world a better place than what you found it. Okay. Ensure that your goals are aligned with the collective need and with the highest good of all. So that's why I'm saying we together are a collective energy. We together have the power. We together can move mountains. We together can build anything. We together can support one another and be each other's rocks. It's not always out there. It's right in front of you. It is supporting one another. You can move mountains. You are courageous, 9-9. Nine, nine. It is time to get to work on the realization of your soul's mission in life. You have a higher purpose in this life that is yours and only yours to fulfill. Unleash your true power. Amen. Can we get an amen in the comments? Three, you're very charismatic. And I'm going to tell you guys right now that 
there is no need, like, there is no need to suffer. There is no need to be going through something alone or by yourself when we together are thousands. We together are multiples of thousands. And that's why you're, you know, always know, always know that when you're on the verge of achieving something great, the enemy always tries to come in and torment, always tries to come in to wreak havoc, always tries to come in to divide and rule. But together you are strong. Stronger than you could ever imagine. Visualize abundance in all forms. God gave you such great potential power that everything you visualize eventually becomes reality. Hold a steady vision of that which is beautiful healthful, positive, and filled with blessings, and that is what you will experience. Dreams of abundance. As you sleep, God, your angels, and your higher self are giving you divinely guided ideas, answers, and solutions. Be sure to record your dreams in a journal because they contain valuable insights that will help you manifest your dreams into a reality and release resentments about money. Yes, the money system of the world can be upsetting, but holding resentments about finances just pushes your abundance away. Instead, see money as a tool you can use to better the world, and this shift will help you attract, support, golden opportunities. Razor Promotion Congratulations, an increase in your abundance flow awaits you. This is a result of your positive focus and willingness to take action based on your divine guidance. Keep up the good work, Spirit is saying. Write a gratitude list, counting your blessings and feeling gratitude for what you already have. Helps you be centered in your heart instead of fixated on the worries in your mind. What and who are you grateful for right now? And keep focusing on gratitude and you will discover the amazing generosity of this universe. Bountiful nature. That's what I'm talking about. That is the real sense of community. That is the real sense of wishing each other well wishing each other do well, wishing and being grateful for the blessings that you've already seed, received. And now I am grateful for all of you. I am grateful for you. I'm grateful for all of you. I am grateful for what I have received and I'm even more grateful for the things that are to still come. This is what Spirit's asking you to do. Remain positive. You're the rock. Solid, rooted, grounded. And it's like, you know... Release the fear of money or the worry about money. Yes, it is concerning to all of us. It is. It's real. However, we can choose to focus on, uh, on the blessings. We can focus in on, okay, God has an idea. God has a plan for us. And we're going to get some ideas to get through these tough times. Okay, oh. seeing the beauty in all things, lit, focusing in on the beautiful things of life. This is the difference. 
Things do not have to be as complicated as what people complicate them. Now, look. This is the foundation. Love. Focus in on things you love. Focus in on people you love. The gratitude for the love you have. The beautiful things in your life. The happy things in your life. The joyous moments. The joyous things that you've experienced. And are still going to experience. Okay. Family, the love of family, the love of, uh, you know, this, that brotherly love, fatherly love, in loving the universe, loving what God has done for you, being grateful for the things that you have already been given and received. Mm hmm L-O-V-E. Hmm. Cycles. Don't allow concerns, money concerns, okay, to stop you. Okay, now, this is what I want to say. This is what I want to say about it. You reap what you sow in this world. What you imagine, what you visualize, the things that you say, the all has an effect on what you receive. So keep focused on the positive things, the beautiful things. Because sooner or later you will manifest it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, you know, just stay over there with your crap. I, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. It's like you're the rock. You're the foundation. You're the driving force. And it's like... If someone doesn't, you know, sometimes it is rejection is protection. I, you're the leader. You're the, you're the inspiration. You're the driving force. You are an adventurous. You are. See, this person's in a state of denial. Negative thoughts, negative thinking. I cannot allow it in your energy. And Spirit is saying, do not allow it in your energy. This damned negative force that keeps coming out for the collective energy. Do not entertain it. You're the pioneer. There is nothing. Spirit's universe is, uh, is limitless. A and you're the driving force. It, it's like you are, by you focusing in on your goals and you focusing in on, you know, leaving the world in a better place and all that, those are really good thoughts. Those are really good intentions. That is thinking of the higher good of everyone. You're not selfish. You know what I mean? You're not selfish. It's like when spirit gives you an idea, you have to take action on it. You have been the driving force.
You've been the rock. You've been the reliable one, the dependable one. Everyone can always count on you because you're like the pioneer. You're the one that has these great ideas. You, you know why you have these great ideas is because you work really hard toward making that happen. You work so hard at it. You think and visualize what you can do with this money and you think and you visualize who you can bless with this money and you think and you visualize, my God, look at how many people I can help. Look what I can do with this. You're the driving force. You are the stable one, the reliable one, the dependable one. You are the rock to many people. You are the one that takes the leap of faith. You are the one that does it. You're the adventurous. You are the bearer of fruits. You are the nurturer. You are the one that bears fruits to these ideas these creative endeavors and don't ever forget it you are the driving force it's your energy it's your uh, visualizations and it, your imagination and you're like thinking wow i'm gonna do something really great in my life i'm gonna leave a legacy behind i'm leaving this world in a better place than what i found it and guess what you're being congratulated for doing exactly that because you can't take money when you go. You cannot. You've been a giver. And you're like, I don't care. I'll just find another way. I'll find another way. I'll find another way. I don't know what it is, but I'll come up with something. And eventually you manifest it. The power of positive thinking. Growth. Not this, you know, Debbie Downer crap, negativity, wah, wah, wah. You're like, okay, I need to pay a bill here. <laughs> Say this is a bill. Now, I got to pay this bill. I don't know how I'm going to achieve it, but I know I'm going to. If I work really hard and I stay dedicated and I stay focused, God will give me that idea. And when God gives me that idea, I'm taking action on it. When God gives me this idea, I'm going to take action on it. And I'm going to try it. And I might fail, but I might win. I might fail, but I might do well. I'm going to try it because God gave me that idea and I'm taking action on it. And eventually you will manifest it. Not this damn bloody shit over here. People want to manifest heartbreak and cry their eyes out then cry your eyes out and manifest bullshit. But leave the collective energy out of it. Okay? And then don't turn around and be resentful about why the collective energy wins. Don't sit there being envious and jealous and, and, and resentful that you did not take action on it. They let these opportunities slip away. It's all fine and dandy when you have money. But when you don't have money, you learn to be the pioneer. You learn to say, what do I got to do, God? What, what should I do? Uh, I, I got to take some divinely guided action here. I, I, God, you give me the ideas and I'm going to go for it. I don't know why, I don't know how, and I ain't going to question you, God, 
Just I know I can trust you and I know you're going to provide and I know you will give me a way. You will find a way. You're here, aren't you? How many times in your life have you had people tell you what you can't achieve, what you can't do, and look at you. You can. You've proven everybody wrong. Which is why, you know, you are in the energy of doing the higher good. The higher good for everyone around you. The collective energy. You're not out here hating people. You're not out here doing black magic and trying to do spell work on people to screw them up. And then they can't figure out why they manifest what they've manifested. They can't figure out why they manifested this in their life. Because they didn't do what is for the higher good. They had self-interest. Me, me, me. What the hell is that? The me generation? What about me? What about me? What about me? Instead of being happy for someone succeeding. They learn to be resentful of anyone who has. And that is resentment about money and that is the energy that they project out there and that's why it is manifested back to them. You're like, ooh, happy. Look what I can do with this with this abundance that the universe is going to provide me. Ooh, look how many people I can help. Look what I can do with this. <gasps> what can I do? And you must sit there and visualize. Gee, I'd really like to make an imprint on this world before I go. I'd really like to leave a nice legacy for people behind where they don't have to worry and they don't have to fear. I don't want anybody I know to have to go through that. It's trusting your intuition. And building, you know. Huh. See, they're resentful. This person is resentful. You know, these are the people that get depressed and are always complaining what they don't have. Complaining, 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 complaining. And when they set that negative energy out there, it's not fair, God, the collective energy has got this. It's not fair, God, that they receive and I don't receive. It's not fair, God, this, that. God must feel like a tortured parent sometimes, literally. Because spirit doesn't just favor people. Spirit will give an equal, he, spirit's an equal opportunity employer. Completely. Will offer you. But until they change their mindsets, and until they get out of that blame, envy, jealousy, resentment, hurting people, getting greedy, being self-centered, they're going to keep manifesting it. Whoa. Negative projections, negative mindsets, 
and this is karmic justice and this is judgment look 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 fair is fair god is a righteous god god is a fair god god judges people fairly and this is karmic justice so if people who have done wrongs and not corrected their ways and not made amends and not have gone and and like you just can't go upon the earth hurting people maiming people causing all kinds of hurts to people and then expect that you're going to get blessed it's ludicrous it's ludicrous You're the rock. You are the foundation. And you know what, quite honestly? You could be a dying breed. <clears throat> I'm just saying. You could be a di dying breed. What if all the old folks like me, and some of you, many of you, these are traditions that you can pass along. These are traditions and values and morals and authenticity that you can pass along to other generations because once these people are gone <laughs> we're in a mess now i'm sorry but we are in a mess <clears throat> we are not entitled it is an honor a privilege to be upon this earth it is not a right. It is not a entitlement to be here. We're here out of the grace of God. We are here out of the grace of God and for no other reason. And then if you, these are traditions. These are things of building these pioneering spirits these adventurous spirits have built the world have built the foundations these are iconic times that we are living in iconic what do we leave for our descendants like i said it's not about money it's about values, ethics, morals. Many of you are the rocks in your unit. You are the rocks in your family. You are the rock for future generations. And once these rocks are no longer here. There's no one left to educate those principles, those ethics, those... It's a dying breed. These are iconic times. Like, these are pivotal, life-changing moments, okay? That's why you're receiving. not out there it's not a outward journey it's an inward journey and that's what many people don't realize it's not out there that brings you happiness it's not out there that brings you what you're seeking it's within you brings you what you seek it's not about acknowledgement from others, acceptance from others. It's not a, who cares if they accept you or don't accept you. Who cares? Why riot? Why make war when you could make peace? Who 
cares? I have my ideas. Doesn't mean you have to agree with my ideas. You have your ideas. Doesn't mean other people got to agree with you. But knowledge is key. Education is key. Why can't we accept and be grateful for what we already have? When, when are you, like, spirits like, if you're not happy today, when are you ever going to be happy? If you can't be happy today with who you are and your circumstances, I'm not saying that you have to accept those things. But if you can't be happy today within your own skin and be grateful for what you have already received, received then maybe you missed the opportunity. Because it's not out there. It's here. When we die, we take the love in our heart. <laughs> we remember the love of our loved ones. We remember the good times. We remember how precious life is. We remember when we get a good scare, we remember how valuable our time upon this earth is. Not this one foot in, one foot out baloney. It's being decisive and knowing what you want. Your wish fulfillment. You got to live by your own. It's not everyone else. It's not everything else. It's within us. I can be happy today. I'm really grateful for, for my family. I'm grateful for the opportunities I've had in my life, the things I've seen, the things I've experienced. I've experienced a lot of hardships. I've experienced a lot of good things. I've had a really full life, good and bad. <laughs> I just choose to focus on the good. Adventure. That's where true wealth is, right there. Did you love? Did you love one person while you were here? The answer? Yes. Did you experience joy in this lifetime? Be honest. The answer should be yes. I have. Have you experienced being having a wish granted? Have you had healing in your life? Have you had wish fulfillment ever happen to you in your life? The answer should be yes. And if the answer is no, then you have not seen. Because, man, I'm telling you, I don't care unless you've grown up on a deserted island with no one else around, you still would have found a way to find love. Maybe you found a pet. Maybe you learned to care about the ocean or you cared to care about the creatures on that inhibited that deserted island. But I'm telling you, if the heart has ever experienced love, then you have something to cherish and be grateful for, even if it never lasted. 
Because I'm telling you, there is much to celebrate here. Much joy here. Much, much to be grateful for. You are the rock. Bad times, good times, man. That's balance. You get some good, you're going to get some bad. You're going to get some positive, you're going to get some negative. But it is what you do with that that makes the difference. We all get down. We all, all of us get down. But it's whether you get back up again that counts. A and saying, yeah. No, God did help me get out of that tight bind. I remember when, yeah, I did experience that. You darn great. Someone came along and they helped me pump up my tire or change my tire. There's good folks in the world. There's lots of good people in the world. And I'm grateful for each and every one of them. And I am grateful for you. And I am grateful to those around me. And if they want to choose to have this dark attachments, negative thinking, all this negative shit and resentment and spell work because you are becoming successful and achieving even in your own right. You don't have to be wealthy to be happy. You do not have to be. It's your mindset you're in. And that's why most people envy you because you usually manifest your dreams. You usually find a way to manifest whatsoever it is you are wanting. Why? Because of your gratitude, because of your positivity, because of your belief in wanting something bigger, better. How many people can I help? What can I do with this? I can accomplish my dreams. I can do it. Against all this obstacles. You're no quitter. And what do they want to do? Come in and steal it from you. Huh? Yeah, spirits got their eye on this devil. Don't you worry. Huh. Yep. Because huh. you're building solid relationships. You're not into building with people that cannot be grateful for what they have. You want to build relationships with those who are grateful for what they have who are grateful to have somebody supportive, loving, kind, uh, caring. You're building solid relationships. Take care, everyone. And congratulations, guys. I love each and every one of you know that. I really mean that. And my heart aches for you guys when you're painting. And my heart aches for you. And it also gets overflowing with joy when I see you're happy and I know you're content and you are protected and safe it makes me grateful and proud of you and proud of what God has done for everyone take care